In the Philippines, a concerning reality looms over the education landscape. With a PISA score of just 350, the nation stands as the second lowest globally in mathematics. Nearly three years ago, a revelation shook the foundations of Philippine education. Naisi pa review ni Senator Wim Gatchalian ang K-12 curriculum ng bansa upang mas mapabuti ang pagbabasa at pag-aaral ng math na mga mag-aaral. Sa pitumpot siyang ng mga bansang sinuri ang kakayahan ng mga mag-aaral na edad labing lima, mababa ang score ng Pilipinas pagdating sa reading, math at science kung ikukumpara sa average ng OECD. Filipino grade 4 pupils lag behind their peers in other countries based on the 2019 Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study. In a global assessment involving 58 countries, Filipino math learners ranked at the bottom. This year, a report from the Philippine Daily Inquirer further highlighted the crisis. Among Southeast Asian countries, the Philippines ranked second worst in numeracy for grade 5 learners. But just how you improve the numeracy skills? Pressed with time, what methods work? This is the challenge facing Federico A. Estepona Memorial High School, a challenge that calls for a transformative approach. I am Mark J.B. Aquilio, and I'm going to bring you in a journey to discovering how Phi Image has solved its looming problem in numeracy through a solution no one thought would be possible. Amidst these daunting statistics, the students of Phi Image just face their own struggles. From basic algebraic concepts in grades 7 to 9 to the complexities of pre-calculus and business finance in senior high school. The gap in understanding is palpable. Enter PracMath, practical, real-world applications and challenges in mathematics. This innovative initiative is FireMetrics' response to a national crisis, a ray of hope in a landscape clouded by educational challenges. PracMath utilizes PISA-like problems designed to assess real-world applications and focuses on young people's ability to use their mathematical knowledge and skills to solve problems in real-world contexts. This is inspired by the mathematics questions released by PISA, or the Program for International Students Assessment. A worldwide study by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD, intended to evaluate educational systems by measuring scholastic performance in mathematics, science, and reading. PISA math problems are designed to assess real-world applications and focuses on young people's ability to use their mathematical knowledge and skills to solve problems in real-world contexts. PracMath was delivered mostly via beautifully illustrated, real-world scenario-based activity sheets, administered weekly, parallel to the teacher's lessons. The project anchors firmly on the work of Douglas Barton's team on Elevate, saying that the best predictor of academic success is neither IQ nor hard work, but the number of practice exercises the students are given. Indeed, in our research, we've found that IQ is not the number one predictor of how well a student will perform. In fact, we found 13 variables that were more effective in terms of predicting academic performance than simply IQ. Uh, one of these factors in particular we found to be multiple times more effective to predict academic performance, and that was practice exams. Thus, our PracMath materials were delivered regularly on a weekly basis to students. The performance were tested at the start of the project and was measured at the end to check for the difference. Augmenting PracMath is project Mathivai 3.0, a video-based approach in teaching mathematics conceptualized, developed, and utilized during the COVID-19 pandemic. While PracMath immersed the students in solving real-life math problems via colorful and beautifully illustrated sheets, these problems are further explored via interactive math videos about real-life math problems involving algebra, geometry, trigonometry, basic calculus, and business mathematics. And the result, you ask? Well, in the last three months of its implementation, we have seen a remarkable increase in not just the students' numeracy skills, but in their attitude towards mathematics as well. 
For arithmetic and number sense, with 1050 samples and an effect size of 0.62, a one-tail paired t-test revealed that the post-test's average is greater than that of pre-test with a medium difference. For algebra, at an effect size of 0.62, the same test revealed that there is a medium difference between the pre-test and post-test in favor of the post-test. What intrigued us more is that the students performed much better in geometry. With an effect size of 1.96, more than thrice that of the performance in arithmetic and number sense and algebra, there is a large difference between the post-test and the pre-test favoring the post-test. In summary, we achieved medium improvement in the problem-solving performance of students in arithmetic and number sense and algebra while achieving a large increase in the performance of the students in geometry. Using established psychometrics, we also compared the students' mental clatter, mathematics anxiety, and self-efficacy. The same test revealed that there is little difference in the mental clutter. More notably, while there is no significant difference in the mathematics anxiety of the students, there is however a large increase in their self-efficacy. Not only did we achieve a marked increase in the performance of students in arithmetic and number sense, algebra and geometry, but we also improved their mathematics self-efficacy or their belief in their ability to take on mathematics and problems. Kumakita na ako sa math daw, inapiro na ako, tapos daw ay nakagana. Gusto ko na lang magtulog, tapos daw ako magsaw. So, pag makakita ko math problem, kahit ulo ko, nalipong ulo ko, aga, gabuang. So, ang nagkaigos ang Procmas, daw nakahelpin siya sa akin para magustuhan ko ang, ang lesson sa mathematics. Project Matibay proved to be highly beneficial during the modular and blended learning modalities. Now, in the face-to-face -face learning setting, it continues to assist learners in better understanding the lessons. In cases where learners are absent and unable to catch up on the lesson, Project Matibay serves as an intervention to bridge their learning gaps. The implementation of Project Sailing, supported by Project Matibay 3.0, would be a tremendous aid to the learners in our school. The journey is just beginning. With PragMath, Biomatches embarks on a path to not only improve numeracy skills, but to inspire a generation of students who see mathematics as an ally in their future endeavors. Through PragMath, Biomatches is not just addressing a national issue. It's shaping a future where mathematics is a gateway to endless possibilities.